Welcome back, Foulmouth Fishing. Uh, guess what showed up at the door? Well, two parts. Yesterday afternoon, my August 2nd edition Angler's Hall Advanced box showed up. And uh, this month it was a two-part uh, mailing because uh, they sent something from Favorite. So this came direct from the manufacturer. That showed up today. Uh, but I got the... Uh, the anglers hall yesterday, but I figured why would I, uh, you know, do one video and then another? So I waited till the till the second part showed up. Um, anglers hall is another one of those subscription box uh, systems. Uh, the difference between anglers hall and say your uh, lucky tackle box, your bait crate, uh, your six cents lures uh, bags, or your uh, MB box, um, they don't focus primarily on the lures and baits. They focus primarily on the tackle equipment. So they're more of a tackle equipment subscription box rather than uh, your typical, um, you know, lure box. So, without further ado, sneak out our box opening utensil. So this is the second edition of the, um, it says right there, second, second box. So second box details inside. So this is the second edition of the Angler's Hall. Um, they started out their first month with July. I gave myself the first uh, box, which was substantially larger. Um, but then again, they didn't send a large second parcel, uh, second ticket item. So Stacked and packed full of stuff. August 19, Pro Box. Now there's basically two tiers to this. You'll have a pro tier and then an advanced tier. I get the advanced, which is the lar the higher scale uh, version of the Angler's Hall box program. Um, the way they separate it is everybody who got who got the pro program would have just gotten this box. The people who got the advanced program would have gotten the box with uh, the advanced add-ons. That's how they break these down. And uh, this personal per uh, purchase is $109 for the advanced. Um, I'll leave the information in the back on, on, the, on the description page, uh, if you want to check them out uh, and subscribe for yourself. Um, so far with the first box, I've been absolutely thrilled. Uh, we got a reel uh, in the advanced package. Um, I'll show that at the end. And uh, this time, we've got this bad boy here. So, first off in this box, Glacier, Glo uh, Glacier Glove, uh, the Abco Bay Sun Glove. So, for their pricing, uh, MSRP at $24.99, we have some fishing gloves. Now these are SPF 50 um, sun gloves, so these go well if you're out, uh, you know, fishing off the boat or off the off the docks or even bank fishing. That uh, you have some of that sun material to protect your the back of your hands from the sun. So it keeps the chances of getting, uh, you know, sun cancer or skin cancer um, from the sun on the back hands, back of your hands, uh, a little bit up to the wrist. Um, I know this company has a another level of these um, these gloves. I think this is pretty much their first version, their their uh, you know their initial version. I think there's an upgraded version of this that has like a like a silicon kind of textured pad on the bottom that helps uh, grip a lot better. Um, but I think, yeah, this is about accurate. $24.99 I think is the right price for it. I think the other one's a little bit more expensive uh, for, the, for the second generation of these. So that's the, the first thing. This is the Pro Box uh, item. Second in our package for the Pro Box is Harmony Fishing's Wacky Rig Tool. So typical Wacky Rig Tool. Take it out of the packaging because they have it wrapped up in what looks like tissue paper. So let's see what we got here. So it comes with a series of black wacky rings. I feel like I'm unrolling a doobie. Ah. Alrighty. Alright, so you got an anodized aluminum wacky rig tool. Um, some assembly required since they don't have the, the threadings in here. 
If you don't know what this is for, when you're uh, wacky rigging Senkos, uh, stick baits, this tool is designed to make that a hundred times easier. Um, you load up your wacky ring rubber bands, or these little collars, onto your threaded nut or bolt in this case, and then you'll thread that on there like so. And then you just store them on there. You'd load this up and you store them for convenience. And then you just stick your stick bait into this open end. And this allows you to ride the wacky ring uh, rubber band up over this edge, stretch it out over top of the wacky worm, which would be in there. And then you can position the wacky rig, uh, the wacky rig rubber band, for lack of a better term, a uh, ring, uh, anywhere on that worm that you want, and then you just, you know, pop it onto the worm. Um, this allows you to save your uh, your rubber, uh, your uh, wacky rigged plastic stick baits uh, longevity because you're not puncturing the hook through the actual plastic, soft plastic bait. You're actually allowed to put the hook underneath these rubber bands and still get that wacky rig uh, presentation without puncturing the bait. And so this is a little bit more durable than the soft plastic material itself and allows you not to be shredding up the soft plastic so you get a lot more fish per worm. So that's cool. Uh, they have this at $6.99. Um, I like that it's anodized aluminum, which means it's good even for, you know, a saltwater condition. If you happen to live by saltwater, but you go out to a freshwater pond, you're not going to worry about this sitting in your tackle out on your boat or whatever, um, you know, rusting away. So that's good. Uh, CUDA Micro Scissors. So you got a pair of titanium bonded fishing scissors. Uh, these are ridged for the um, for braid, so they'll cut uh, mono braided line oversized rings with that barracuda style um, pattern. Hard to see with the glare, but there's a little barracuda uh, scale pattern on the thing. So that gives you a little bit more grip when you're out. If it gets wet or damp or you have a little fish slime on you, you can still get a hold of these and they're not going to slip out of your hands. And they're large, uh, large opening orifices, so you get a good grip uh, for cutting your line or cutting off a you know, if you accidentally hook a, a snapping turtle or something, or a, an alligator, you can always cut your line and save your hand rather than uh, worry about possibly getting nipped. Um, so that's good. The, the Kudo Micro Scissors, they have these at $6.99. Next, we actually did get a bait. And it fits well with that Harmony Wacky Rig tool. So they actually provided us with some Yum Dingers. So we have a full pack uh, of Yum Dinger in the Watermelon Copper Red Flake. This is one of my favorite colors, actually. So, just out of happenstance, I wound up putting these into my Senko box. Why do I feel like I'm... Oh, come on. There you go. I find the black. So these are your typical 5-inch... Yum Dinger Worms, and just for sake of those who do not know, as I said, you take your wacky ring tool, you slide your worm inside, you position it where you want, your rubber band slides up over the tool, and pops right onto the worm. And then you can hook your hook underneath. Um, what I do, what 90% of, uh, of people, anglers do, um, run two of these rubber ties onto your worm, put your hook in one, twist the hook, and pop it through the other, and it'll make an X so that you're actually uh, doubling up the strength on the, on the, uh, the rubber bands, so that'll help also prevent uh, the possibility of one of the, uh, the rubber bands failing and uh, you losing, uh, losing your worm, losing your bait, and losing the fish. So that's another good thing to keep in mind. Double up your your uh, your rings. These rings are not expensive. You can buy them anywhere from you know Walmart, um, Dick's, uh, you know Bass Pro Shops, etc. <coughs> Yum Yum Dingers, excuse me, were two dollars and ninety nine cents for that package. Uh, last but not least, in the Angler's 
uh, Hall Pro Box section is the Anglar Bullseye. <clears throat> so now this is a $20, $29.99 item. What this is, is somewhat similar to, say, um, Fish Brain or um, possibly um, the, the portable bait, uh, like portable little sonars that you see. Uh, there's like one or two different brands out there. But this little little key right here is a um, geolocated uh, tag that allows you to plot uh, by entering data each time you click the button and you can enter into the data through an app on your phone. Um, fishes that you've caught, uh, location where you've caught them, temperature readings because it'll give you the weather, it'll give you the water temp, uh, it'll give you basic climate, climate information, uh, seasonal information, and you can use this to actually pattern throughout the year, um, especially if you're like a, you know an amateur angler or you know, amateur tournaments. You can use this to um, to catalog where your fish catches are, uh, times the season when you've caught them, plot so that you know next season or the following season and so forth over time. Get a good library of content on what time what colors of baits you can fish. Uh, you can use this. This is a, a vital piece of uh, technological and uh, advanced um, um, utilitarian devices. So I actually like this, but it's uh, it's probably something I'm not likely to use. Uh, this would work really well if I probably traveled a heck of a lot less uh, and stuck to like the, sim the same body of water and could just catalog you know, this lake over a period of time, rather than me going to this lake today and that river tomorrow and this pond, you know, uh, the day after. So, um, but I, I am very pleased to give this a shot. Uh, I might, uh, I might be, uh, happily surprised. And certainly, it's a simple app. It's very, uh, you know, self, uh, self, uh, ex explanatory. Um, but these are a great little thing. So, Bullseye by Algar, or by Anglar, is a, is a pretty good tool. That's uh, that's surprising. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't ex expecting any kind of electronics, even though it's not you know a big ticket thing. It's not like it's a uh, uh, fish finder, depth finder. But uh, it's nice to see they add little trinkets and stuff like that. Again, this box is not like um, mystery tackle box. It's not focused primarily on the baits. It's focused primarily on the utensils and tools that you would use while you're out fishing. And Switching over to what is the pro side of this package, um, and this is a, uh, a big plus for me, because uh, although I have, I think, 20 or so odd rods and reel combos and more reels down in the basement and that don't have rods for them, um, they decided to team up with Favorite. Favorite Rod Company, and... They sent direct from manufacturer as part of the pro side of this package a favorites defender two piece rod with a nice neoprene wetsuit style rod keeping sleeve. So I'm actually pretty darn impressed. All right, so let's unzip this and get into it. Let's see what we got here. This means I'm going to have to get another, another reel. So, I like that little rod keeper. So we got a two-piece, um, what do we got here? In God we trust. So it's a uh, IM24 ton carbon blank, uh, DFR702, so it's a six, seven foot even. This runs... Quarter ounce lures to three quarter ounce lures, six to fourteen pound uh, line, and it's a fast action tip. So, yeah, I can imagine it's going to be a fast action tip. And the backbone in this is probably going to start real early um, because it is a two piece, and they don't want to put too much pressure down here on the connection. But it's a seven foot two piece rod, by favorite. Um, it's a good rod. I mean, I like favorite brand. I'm not. I'm not one to say that I have a lot of favorite brand 
rods. I stick uh, a lot of 13 fishing, a pen. I grew up in salt water, so I was a big pen rod and reel kind of person. Um, I prefer to see an open blank so that your, your reel seat uh, touches the blank and you'll feel more sensitivity coming through the keys of the reel into or off the blank into that reel so you'll actually feel it in the reel um, but for what it is a $99.99 favorites rod and as a you know as a package deal still has the $99.99 on the uh, on the thing as I, I knocked my I knocked my lobster off the wall. <laughs> um, I uh, yeah, I like it. I'm 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 pleased. It's got that nice grippy foam uh, material for the uh, for the grips. Long handle. I like I like these little pencil long handles. They give me more more uh, whip to my casting because I like to pop it right off my off the back end of my uh, of my forearm there when I'm casting, so I know I pop it out there. And, and know where I'm aiming when I'm, when I'm casting, so I'm very pleased. But as I said, last month they gave us a 1-3 fishing, a 1-3 fishing rod reel. So let's see, I know you're here somewhere. It's you, isn't it? Yes, I think so. So we got a 13 fishing rod, uh, reel last month's box from Angler's Hall. And keeping things together, um, I like to stick with brand to brand as much as possible. So I went down to Dick's and they had on sale, I had a $10 um, rebate coupon, you know, you, you shop so much, you earn points, and the points translate into coupon discounts. I had $10 off my order. So for their on sale of, I think it was $54 or something like that, I can't off, off the top of my head remember. I picked up this 13 Fishings Defy uh, spinning reel. So I got me a 13 Fishing spinning reel for the 13 Fishing spinning rod. Uh, or 13 Fishing spinning rod for the 13 Fishing spinning reel that I got in the package. Uh, it's, it's set up with the Guggen's 15 pound 100% uh, fluoro um, that, I, that I got in my mystery tackle box. So I'm you know, liking to use this for my drop shots, my little, uh, my little semi finesse kind of stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm enjoying that. And what I do like about it is this rod is, is absolutely perfectly balanced. Um, once I stop, but what I put into it is motion when I picked it up. But it's perfectly balanced, so it's very gentle on my wrists, and I can cast this and cast this, cast this all day, and I'm not seeing much fatigue. So that was a that was a plus. However, because I used the reel and bought a rod, and now I have a rod and no reel, um, what do y'all think out there in YouTube land? Uh, what would be a good reel to pair with this rod? Now I will say this: I don't like this is a do as I say, not as I do kind of thing. I don't particularly like. Um, bait casting rods because I don't like the trigger, the pistol, the pistol trigger uh, when I'm casting. I, I always find it awkward. I like a smooth blank uh, back end. It's just, it's more, I don't know, it's just more comfortable for me. So here's the do as I say, not as I do part of it. Rods are specifically designed today uh, to flex and have more rigidity a backward spine just like any human being or any animal so when you buy a spinning rod it's designed to take the pressure as a spinning rod so you're gonna have a more flexible rear and a stiffer uh, bottom to take take the pressure when you buy a a bait casting rod it's designed to have a more rigid bottom and a more flexible top this way so the eyelets are on the flexible side of a bait caster where the eyelets are on the rigid side of a spinning rod typically uh, back in the old days when all rods were just fiberglass it didn't make much difference uh, you know you could put a, a spinning reel or a casting reel on pretty much the same blank because the blanks were semi you know pretty much homogeneous as they were 
manufactured. But now a lot more, especially when you get into the high carbon, carbon fiber, and and the uh, you know the multitude of of engineered materials that they put out there, and the way that they they bridge them, you know, from the center core out to the the finished uh, exterior of the blank. Um, a lot of these are specifically engineered um, to take strain in specific ways. That being said, as a as a one hundred dollar uh, rod, I'm not much worried if it if it was to snap, um, because I don't think I'm going to catch you know a twelve pound or fourteen pound bass on this, and I'm certainly not taking it out for you know uh, Goliaths out in the ocean. I would like to know what do you think would be a good reel to pair with this? You can leave a comment in the in the in the comments down below. It doesn't matter if it's a spinning reel or a bait casting reel. Uh, you could you want me to put maybe a um, like a real finesse um, spinning reel on here, or maybe I was interested in maybe a Shimano SLX DC uh, bait casting uh, reel on this rod. I think that would look nice. Try to find something, you know, what do you think would pair well, obviously, with the, the blue tone and the color, because, you know, aesthetics are kind of important to me, too. But um, you let me know. What real should I pair with my uh, Angler's Hall subscription box favorite rod? So again, it's a seven foot fast action, probably a medium, uh, yeah, probably medium with a fast action. Uh, it's a six to 14 pound test. So probably I put 15 pound on it because I really don't care. But that's a do as I say, not as I do. Um, you tell me in the comments below. I hope this has been a little bit entertaining. Uh, it, there wasn't a whole lot of items. Again, we had one big ticket item with the uh, $100 uh, rod. Uh, I wished I could have been able to put this out a little earlier, but uh, I didn't get the Angler's Hall box until yesterday, and I didn't get the rod until today. So I appreciate your patience with that. Again, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and share. I've hit 400 of my 500 subscribers. Uh, with YouTube doing their funny mathematics where I gain five subscribers and lose three of them, and then the next day one's back, and then the next day one leaves, I you know, as it is what it is uh, with, um, you know, people who quit their accounts or people who, uh, for whatever reason, just aren't registering uh, as a subscriber. Uh, the count goes up and down. But when we successfully reach and hold that 500 subscriber uh, number, I'll have that big giveaway with the custom lure from uh, from Martis Lures, the Whopper Plopper uh, bait with the uh, foul mouth fishing logo painted on it in that craw pattern. Uh, you'll get a $50 gift certificate or gift card, I should say. Uh, it's going to be a Visa gift card, same as cash. You can take yourself out to dinner, go buy some baits, um, use the $50 to put gas in your boat, whatever you want to do. Um, that's or the car if you're a bank angler. Um, that's that's for you to decide. And I have a bunch of other little trinkets that are in the box to go with that as well. Um, so there's it's more than just the card and the lore. There's there's some extra stuff in there, some some goodies. And I'll just I'll, I'll let that cat out of the bag when we get to 500. So I appreciate all of you spending a little bit of time with me. Um, I want to uh, shout out a nut. That got me thinking I might do a video on uh, different lures, the lines to use, why to use them. Just general concept of what to use, when, and why. Um, and probably the, the three favorite lures that I like to use for saltwater, the three favorite lures that I like, I think are the most productive for a freshwater angler, uh, no matter where you are in the world. Um, th certain things just transcend. They just always will catch fish because they're just a staple. Um, and I might, I might surprise you. So I'll be putting that video probably together this weekend and posting it uh, early, early next week. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you understand I don't do edits. I think it's much more conducive to talk to you and be straight off the top of my head. Um, if I ramble, I apologize. But uh, I hope this wasn't too, too lengthy. Y'all have a good afternoon. This is Foul Mouth Fishing, and I'll catch you on the next cast.